Welcome to The Lab Report. I'm your host, Richard Nickel. Today, I want to get to the heart of the matter and talk about how synthesizers shape their sounds. Historically, filters and waveforms have dominated synthesis, but analog sound design does not need to be limited to just a few options. Complex wave shaping is a critical part of creating evocative tones, and this is an area of research Pittsburgh Modular has been focused on for many years. As a result, our team, led by Michael Johnson, has developed some fascinating new analog wave shaping tools. The first wave shaping method we will talk about today is center clipping. Center clipping unlocks independent control over the top and bottom of the waveform, allowing for detailed manipulation of harmonics and timbre without affecting pitch. I like to think of this as sonic gravity, where both the top and bottom of the waveform can be pulled inwards towards the center. The second wave shaping method creates a new species of pulse wave that is a little easier to explain. Simply add a step between the top and bottom of the waveform. The resulting wave looks like a set of stairs where the depth of the center step can be adjusted in addition to the pulse wave. This creates a second dimension of manipulation and a host of new sonic possibilities. Center clipping and pulse symmetry are just a few of the new wave shaping tools of the Voltage Lab 2. We will further examine this musical potential later on in the series. Analog is important, and it's time to shape something new.